Have you asked the question, I want to start reading the Bible, but which one do I choose? Hi everyone, welcome to the Deer's Cry, I'm your host Tim Horhan. So I just wanted to shoot this quick video on, because a question that I've had, that most people have had, is that when I want to start reading the Bible, is that what Bible should I actually use? Easy, short answer would be the Bible that you're going to use. Basically the one that's going to go with how you like to read would be the easy question. But the one that you are going to use is the Bible you want to get. But I just wanted to go over a couple of uh, Bibles, ones that I've had over the years, 45 years old, so some of them were ones I've had since I was a kid, um, to the ones that I'm going to come down to, the ones I'm going to go through a little thoroughly are the ones that I actually use on a normal basis, I would say. All right, so let's get into it. So first one up would be New American Bible. Now this is one I got from high school. This is being a Catholic school kid, this is one that you, uh, at least from where I went, this is what you got when you graduated senior year. Being a Catholic school, obviously they're going to give you a Bible. So just like confirmation, um, kids a lot of times who have you know not been parochial schooled and they go through confirmation, here's your Bible, you've been confirmed. And I'll be honest that at the time, I probably didn't really use this as much. I mean, I really got back into my faith. I was probably more of a lukewarm Catholic, probably in my last, my high school years, college years. Um, it wasn't until I met my darling wife that I kind of like got my Catholic faith fired back up. But at this time, I probably was because this was the point when I really had my Christ encounter um, through <laughs> an encounter with uh, St. John Paul II and World Youth Day. But it's pretty cool. Um, and the NAB is the, the Bible readings, or the Gospel readings that we hear at Mass. Um, that's the translation that you actually hear, the New American Bible. So. That was a good one, but for me, this is not one I use all the time because it's not like a handy, it's a paperback. You, this thing would get beat the heck up if I use this one all the time. I still have it because it's for sentimental reasons, but that's the NAB. Now this one's pretty cool. This one is full Bible. It's my Catholic Bible, my daily Catholic Bible. And this one is the Revised Standard Version Catholic Edition, 20 minute daily readings. Uh, I'll say that I got this I got this on one of the things that we all say or a lot of people have said New Year's Eve resolution I'm gonna read the Bible fully this year this was one of my ways I was going to do it um, I'll be honest I never fully got through this Bible I've gotten I've read the Bible <laughs> entirely but this one I did not get through but this one is a good I would say devotional for someone who wants to like try to get into a regular habit of doing it um, so what it actually does is it breaks down. I just flipped open to like I have that March 11th right there and Cool thing is it usually has a quote of a saint on top and Then there's usually a reading from the Old Testament followed by a New Testament reading uh, And they're all set up for 20 minutes thing. So if you could put aside 20 minutes every day Every day you'd get through the Bible in one day. So that's kind of a cool one. I would say it's one I've used I just can't get rid of it because it's just I kind of like it because it's another way if I want to not use one of my other ones that I use regularly and use this as a daily reading this is a cool one to use this is another new American Bible this one is a common one you'll see uh, get a shot of the spine there this is another one you'll see so worn out and everything you the letters are kind of off of it but it's the new american bible fish catholic edition uh red letter edition catholic world pressed um this is one i bought this one at barnes and nobles a lot a lot of times you see this one it's like usually wrapped in plastic um this is the one i had when i became a youth minister i was a youth minister for four or five years this is this is when I was a catechist or whatever, this is what I taught out of. A lot of times I tossed the textbook aside. I knew what the class was, what I had to teach on, but went right straight to the Word um, to break it open for the kids and show them what it's all about. Um, the Bible tabs don't come with it, but these are ones that I added afterwards because um, you could just buy them afterwards. But this one is highlighted and so forth. But this is one of the cool ones because it actually has um, all the footnotes and 
you know introduction before for each each one of the past uh, each one of the books of the Bible and uh, a whole lot of uh, good notes on it um, so that's the NIB this is a good one it's good handy um, kind of like, like this fake leather feel to it but it's a good handy one I mean it can take a take a beating I threw this in my backpack like so many times or my briefcase and go into youth group that was the one to have now we're gonna get into my top four that would be these four. First one up is the Ignatius Catholic Study Bible New Testament second Catholic edition revised standard version um, this one is the one you need to be able to dive deep into the New Testament this thing is just awesome um, I regret the fact that I bought it in paperback years ago and didn't buy like a nice leather version that they have um, but this thing is sweet um, basically let me just break down one of the Gospels just show you an example using the Gospel of Matthew but it has um, you can see that let me just adjust my camera it has this great open and the study notes on this is incredible. Um, you know, Scott Hahn was part of uh, this through Ignatius, Ignatius Press. And then the study notes are just awesome, especially here where they have each one of these uh, little icons where it ties in with the faith, where one is the color I added <laughs> with uh, certain markers I use. The blue is showing parts where it's tied back into the Old Testament and the red actually let me see I know I have that in here. little icons where he has notes marked where content and unity unity basically tie in the Old Testament with the New Testament the dove showing sacred tradition and then the keys showing the basically no keys pertaining to the analogy of faith where they spell out the mysteries of the faith and unlock everything um, it's just fantastic this is the one that I use a lot of times when you see me do the daily bread I have broken into this one ahead of time so that is the Ignatius Catholic Study Bible New Testament second Catholic edition that is by Ignatius Press and this is just magnificent this one just tie that in this one is this one there's a gazillion <laughs> reviews online this is the great adventure bible by ascension ascension press a revised standard version second catholic edition the one jeff cavins um, and a number of authors actually are part of it um, and this is just the best if the, you need a bible to get into reading scripture this is the bible to get things that i want to just point out real quick is coolest part are for me is like here's index of charts maps and key events and it has every one of the key events in scripture and salvation history from the bible reading plan the bible timeline um from all the way from adam to the book of revelations and it's just awesome um but the key to this is right here the narrative is in supplemental books this is a description of the 14 books which if you read in order you're reading salvation history and it actually shows where all the rest of the books of the 73 books where they fall in inside of salvation history i could be reading in kings second kings and i could be so i see the color of the light blue so i know where in history i am because of this color so I get a picture in my head of what's happening, who's in charge, what's going on. I just absolutely love this Bible. The font of it's beautiful, um, the way it's laid out. This one, there's no notes in it other than some introductions, but the best on top of it is with the colors of where you are in history, you actually have a breakdown of what that actually means. So this is the breakdown of exile, of where the Israelites at the time, of what the summary is, is the narrative of what is going on, and then the key players at this time. So then you read these sections, so when you're in that time period, you can know what's going on. 
So this is a way to get into the story below a story in reading through scripture. I absolutely, this is my Bible. <laughs> this is the Revised Standard Version again, Catholic Edition by Ignatius Press. This is the Pocket Bible. Um, there's two different versions of this, I think. One does not have this nice zipper. Uh, tassels are separate. <laughs> I bought those myself. Or actually, my wife bought them for me. Um, but they don't come with the tassels. The beautiful thing with this is how it can... Let me just seal this up. When this bad boy is sealed up, I mean, this thing you could just toss in a backpack or what have you, and this thing can t take a beating and keep on ticking. Um, and it's awesome, it's compact. I mean, you can see it in comparison to my hand. Um, this one is in my glove compartment all the time, so if I stop by to go into an adoration chapel, this is the Bible that I have with me, just in my car all the time. This is just an awesome one. Um, and both of these, the next, this one and the other one are both by Ignatius, so in some ways they, they are the same translation, but this one, the layout's nice, two column layout. Um, any of the corresponding notes, they're not in your way. They're actually, there's an appendix way in the back um, in each section. But it's just, it's beautiful. Has a nice presentation pages at the beginning. Um, yeah, don't look at my information. <laughs> but where you can put in your family history, your kids, um, the whole nine yards. So it's pretty darn cool. Last one is the latest one that I always have literally in my pocket or in my coat pocket. And this is the Ignatius New Testament and Psalms Revised Standard Version, Second Catholic Edition again. And uh, but this is just the New Testament and the Psalms, and it's just got this beautiful artwork on the front. And again, same way, it's laid out with two columns. This one hasn't been totally broken in yet. Um, trying to break it in, uh, but it lays out really nice. It's just nice to have in your hand. It's just nice, small. I mean, as a man, I can basically slide this in the back of my jeans, my back pocket of my jeans. It's just really nice. Comes with the nice tassels. We always like the tassels. Um, so that's the one to have. You want to get in the scripture, the easiest way always to, I, people have said before, and it is true, start with the Gospels. So you want something small, you can get this bad boy on, on Amazon for like 15 bucks. I mean, so... You don't want a big investment, you want to start to try to get into scripture, get this one right here. This is just the Gospels, the New Testament, and the Psalms. It's a way to at least just get into that and hearing Jesus' words himself. So I hope they gave you a couple good ideas, maybe some Bibles that you want to grab. Like I said, the best Bible you can get is the one you're going to use. So whether it be the New American Bible, the Revised Standard Version, the Dewey Rames, whichever one feels good that you know that you're going to use daily, that's the one to get. But I thought I'd just give you those ones to kind of give you an example of the ones I use and ones that you could get. So get into the Word. It'll change your life. Hope you have a great day. God bless. Get you around next time. Remember to share, subscribe, hit that little bell notification so YouTube's forced to tell you when we got next videos. All right? Peace.